Hello and hi everyone. So uh, let's focus in on the multiplication of complex numbers. And this operation involves some simple steps that we call as the, uh, the distributive law of multiplication. And the best way to learn about this one, this thing, is by or through example. So uh, I've prepared two examples over here and we will discuss about them um, today and we let's have a look on the first one here so uh, we have two complex numbers that we want to multiply them together so what we do is just it's just we, we, we multiply each terms for from these two uh, numbers respectively so what I mean is just like this so we have we have over here 2 plus 3i times with 4 minus 2i so what we do here what we do here so uh, let me change my marker pen so what we do here is, first one, we take the first or the real part of the first complex number times with these, these term. So we have 2 times with 4, and then the next one is 2 times with negative 2i. So what we got here, we have 2 times 4. 2 times 4 for the first term and the next term plus with 2 times with negative 2i and then next one we also we also have the uh, the third terms here with the 3i times with 4 so we have three i times four plus three i here times with negative two i so uh, we have three i times with negative two i so uh, and the next step is we just uh, we just need to simplify all the terms and we it involved like terms and so on and so on so uh, let's do this so 2 times 4 is 8 this one 2 times negative 2i we got negative 4i here so negative and positive here so we, we got negative 4i next one we have 3i times 4 so 4 times 3 is 12 so we have 12i over here and positive and plus we keep it positive and the next one the last term we have 3i times with negative 2i so we got here negative 6i squared with plus over here so it becomes negative so we have negative 6 I squared. So uh, let me remind you that I I is equal to negative I is equal to I is equal to third negative one. So we have I square over here. So I square should be the third negative one squared where squared and third will annihilate or eliminate it, it becomes the power of one over here so we have one um, the power of half times with two so it becomes power of one so therefore i squared is equal to negative one so i squared over here takes the value of negative one so uh, this equation will become this expression will become 8 
So this one i with i, the imaginary part. So we have negative 4i plus 12i. So we got plus 8i. So this one will become negative 6 times with negative 1. So negative 6 times with negative 1, it should be plus 6 over here. So we have 8 plus 8i plus 6. So we have two real parts over here, 8 and positive 6. And 8, 8i over here is the imaginary part. So uh, again, we simplify this one for the real part of the complex number. So 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 plus with 8i. So this is the, the answer for this example. And what about the second one? Again, the same, the same step and law, the distrib distributive law of multiplication is applied again here. So the first one is 2 times with 2, times with 2, sorry, times with 2. So we got over here 2 times with 2 and then 2 times with negative 4i. And the next one, the, the, the next step is 4i times with 2 and then the last bit the last bit is 4i times with negative 4i so uh, let me write it for you or or you can you may you may uh, pause this video first and try it your yourself to solve this this uh, example so uh, this one should be it should be 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times with negative 4i is negative 8i, and then proceed with plus 4i times with 2, we got positive, so plus 8i, and for this one, we have positive 4i times with negative 4i, so we got positive negative is negative 16i squared, so uh, let's proceed and simplify these numbers so we get negative 8i plus 8i so this one eliminate each other so what we got here is just 4 and this one is a 4 minus let me write it down this way so negative 16i squared and we just know that i squared i squared is just negative 1 so what we got here 4 minus 16 times negative 1 so what happened here is negative times with negative so it, it, it produced positive here so we have 4 instead of negative it becomes plus 16 and what we got here is 20 so uh, we got the a real number over here and what I want to, to to stress a little bit is about this second example over here. This second example. What we what we have here is is what we call as the complex conjugate of numbers. We got the complex conjugate. This is what we call as complex conjugate. What does it mean by complex conjugate? Complex conjugate is the where where you get or, or you have a pair of a pair of uh, a complex number so uh, you have a plus ib and you have a minus ib so this pair is the complex conjugate a minus ib is the complex conjugate of a plus ib and it's vice versa you, we have a minus ib so the complex conjugate of it is a plus ib so uh, to put it in this context, 2 minus 4i is the complex conjugate of 2 plus 4i and 2 plus 4i is the complex conjugate of 2 minus 4i. So uh, I hope this video helps you in uh, understanding the distributive law of multiplication involving complex numbers and also about the complex conjugate over here. So see you next time. Bye bye.